Well, hi there everybody out there in LSPDFR land. This is actually not Grand Theft Auto 5 that I normally, you know, put up on a channel. Uh, but right now we are in American Truck Simulator. Doing a little bit of a change up here. Decided to do this instead. We're just uh, heading uh, east here on I-40. We're heading our way to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Uh, we are coming uh, from, oh uh, crap, that was a town out of, Kingsman, Arizona. Which, I uh, almost got off of that accident there, uh, mistakenly here. We are rocking a uh, skinned trailer today. Just for fun here. Uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on trucking lately. Uh, plus with the release of Grand Theft, I mean not uh, Grand Theft Auto, but the uh, 1.4 patch here. On American trucks and I decided to uh, try it out here we're running a CFI skin a uh, company kind of based out of, of um, uh, uh, forget where they're based out of but they're out of the base out of the southeast and they do a lot of work in the south uh, if you don't get around YouTube much uh, there's a channel called uh, ride with Dave that I've been watching on lately, and it's been pretty much a, uh, you know, been pretty much my main interest on YouTube as of late. Uh, and it kind of explains why I haven't been making any uh, LSPDFR videos lately. Uh, I know I said on one comment that, I, you know, due to the um, holidays and stuff back in February and my birthday, I haven't been really feel, uh, had time to make YouTube videos. So, uh, so here we are. I'm making a YouTube video, but it's just not Grand Theft Auto 5 here. We're in a Kensworth T680. We're about three hours away from our drop-off point here. We are running the um, Real Companies mod, and we're pulling for Walmart, I believe, here. Let me go ahead and get the uh, details loaded up on screen here. A little bit of damage here. Uh, we're holding TVs here. We're heading towards a Costco. We were coming from a Walmart distribution center uh, there in Kingsman, Arizona. So we're going to Santa Fe, New Mexico here. I don't think I, I haven't discovered Santa Fe yet. So this is going to be interesting rolling in here with this skin. Actually, I'm going to take this moment here. Be right back real quick here, guys. All right. So we're back. Sorry about that. I uh, wanted to take a quick screenshot here. Got the sun coming up. Wanted a thumbnail here for the video. Anywho, uh, so yeah, that's what pretty much has been my thing lately. Um, when it comes to YouTube and pop media, I, I, I get obsessed with things. And I, I can't put their videos down or stop watching. I gotta watch every single video that they have up there. But man, I really do enjoy Ride With Dave's YouTube channel. Great guy. If y'all haven't watched him, I'll put his description down in the below in the description. Or his link, rather, in the description. Uh, but, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, I, I back in the day had a fascination with trucking. Uh, you know, with, uh, you know, we had uh, History's Channels, um, Ice Road Truckers, uh, a few other shows on there. there. There was actually that Bounty Hunter truck show there that I was interested in. But I've owned American Truck Simulator since its uh, release date. I have ETS2 as well. Uh, I don't think I have uploaded anything, any content to this channel, but I've streamed it a little bit on Twitch. Uh, but, you know, I, another thing that I don't think I'll do on a regular basis for a regular income, uh, you know, is just my situation right now wouldn't really fit it. Wouldn't be a really good fit for me, but, uh, you know... A lot of things were holding me back back in the day because um, I don't know how to drive manuals. And uh, to be realistic as possible, this is an automatic truck that we're driving. Uh, but uh, that seems to be the norm as of date. And you see a lot of people guessing if they should still train on, on uh, manuals or not. You know, personally, it's like, you know, it's not like, you know, be a super trucker. Oh, oh key. Just lay on the brakes there. Uh, we're getting closer to a town. That's why traffic's getting a little bit more heavier. It is about 7 o'clock in the morning here. We are not due for another really long time. Uh, but we're going to get, uh, get closer here. We're just going to do this in a straight shot. I have not rested. 
You may hear my guy yawn every once in a while here, but our time on our clock is still pretty strong here. But, uh, you know, it is, it, back to the topic at hand, though, is, um, you know, something that I, I'm interested in, but I think I will just keep it a uh, kind of a, uh, you know, online thing to do here. If y'all like this, this kind of videos, let me know in the comments. Uh, I was thinking about doing a whole entire series here where, um, you know, we get different skins with different trucks. Uh, like with the Freightliner, I want to throw a uh, Swift skin on it. Or a Warner skin. Uh, yeah, I got the... I, I pretty much got everything unlocked on this game here that I wanted to. No, we have a traffic jam. And the frame rate is just killing me here. Okay. All right, this is not good. Stopped on the interstate. Let's see if anybody can let me in here. Hello, hello, hello. Anybody wanna let me in? Okay, I think we're think right here behind this red car. This traffic's gonna start flowing again. We may have to get off the interstate, and that's what it looks like everybody's doing. Let's go turn off the engine brake here. We don't necessarily need it right now. Looks like we had a bad accident here. Speaking of Swift, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Come on, guy. Get on in. Looks like the tow truck showing up on scene there. All right, so we got uh, the smoky blocking traffic here. See if we can see what happened. I've seen all kinds of things in this game, like traffic accidents, plane landing, and stuff like that. I don't think we'll be able to see exactly what happened. Looks like there's a news chopper up there. Uh, taking a look. I don't necessarily can see. Oh, we got, uh, looks like it's a hell of, I mean, uh, medevac situation up there. So, all right, we're off the freeway here. Looks like we're not too far off. Oh, looks like we got another crash, a secondary crash here. Oh, no, actually, there's a police chase, it looks like. Oh, boy. Killing my frames, but uh, that was interesting. I never had a crash and what appears to be a police chase right then and there here. Oh, oh, red light, red light, red light, red light. All right, we got so distracted there, we uh, got stopped by the red light here. Uh, so, yeah, but yeah, that's my thing right now is that, you know, enjoying the, the watching the semi-life culture thing there um you know watching a bunch of youtube channels that you know do their thing here all right gps says left all right let's see it looks like we're heading towards i-25 don't necessarily know if we're gonna be getting on any interstates cannot turn left on red here all right we're good Looks like this is a two-lane road, but let's go ahead and get on the right-hand side because it doesn't look like we're turning. Looks like we're going to stay on this road. Looks like this might turn into I-25. Oh, uh, I'm not going to chance that. Yep, it would have not made it. Would not have made it at all. Oh, there's that tow truck here that came off the interstate. I don't think I've been on this road yet. Very interesting uh, maneuvering of places here. Looks like we got Peterbilt coming down on here on off the off ramp. Now, this is interesting seeing that kind of uh, traffic scenario happening. All right, so GPS says to keep left. Let's see if we can go ahead and get on left there. Don't see anybody. And then continue straight on. All right, looks like we're going to be stopping at this light. Maybe no, we're continuing. Let's see if we can make it. There's some Walmart trailers there at this uh, rest stop. I wonder why people would leave their loads right there. All right, we're getting back on the interstate here. Looks like it's I-25. We're not going to be too far away uh, from our destination here. So we're going to try and uh, get there safely. And then continue straight on. All right, there's another. Let's see. Oh, yep, it's a red light. The only thing that annoys me about this GPS is like you're coming up to a red light and you're like you hear keep straight or stay straight or no turn or whatever or keep going. That's what she says. She says keep going. 
And that's annoying as hell because I just keep on thinking about just putting the hammer down, but that is not what we want to do. Oh, what did you do, buddy? Just lay on your brakes for no reason. All right, we're going to be hitting on I-25 North. Yes. Which I don't think we're too far away from Santa Fe. We're probably going to be merging on there shortly here. Looks like we've already been on this. Actually, I do remember being on this part of the road, so that's fine. All right, looks like I don't actually have to merge. We might actually have to just get off the road right here, so that's not going to be too bad. Let's see here. Actually, no, I got to keep straight. But, you know, it's just one of those things. I wish, you know, I would love to travel the world and do the truck driver thing. You know, I um, respect the truck drivers. I'm like one of those people... If I saw a truck turning, I know he's going to have some trouble. So let me let him take that turn and not be that, you know, jerk that doesn't allow him to turn. But, you know, that's just my thing, you know. But, yeah, there's other CFI skins I want to try out, especially the American Eagle one for military service uh, that joined CFI. I uh, want to do that one. Uh, maybe do Warner. Um... As much as people hate on Swift, I kind of want to do a Swift run, and then I'll just go in between Walmarts there, that one. That'd be great. One thing I wish that the uh, game did was multiple stops. You know? Like, you, you work basically for Walmart and drop off at Walmart locations. I think that'd be a great kind of, like, another way to earn um, cash on here on this game would be to do that. Truck routes. Well, I'm a truck. I guess I can go down this route. All right, turning left. Let's go ahead and make sure our indicator is showing. All right, Santa Fe. Looks like we're gonna be on the outskirts of Santa Fe, not actually in Santa Fe, New Mexico. But let's go ahead and check it out here. Oh, and learning how to back up is actually, actually watching those videos from Dave has actually made me a better <laughs> uh, sim truck driver, I guess if you would say. Actually, no, this place is on the left. Never mind. Never mind. Is uh, learning how to do all the different backs, like the blind side and alley docks and straight backs and all that, you know. Because, like, when I first started this game, it was a big challenge. Was God, my frame rate just getting eat up here. I don't know why, but Santa Fe is not playing good with my computer. But, um, yeah, how early are we? Let's take a look. We are <laughs> almost a day early with this road. And it's $42,000. 42000 $42, dollars After this, though, my character's going to have to get some gas and go stop at a truck stop. Cause he is gonna be tired. All right, guys, go ahead and let's turn here. We go. These guys are not gonna. Oh shit! I paid attention there, James. That could have been bad. Do I have anybody behind me? Let's take a quick look here. I don't like to. There we go. Back up a little bit. Yeah, it's just smidgen. Did I talk through my turn? I mean, granted, if I already paid the cash, I might as well just go ahead and make my turn. But, uh, I am, you know. Trying to be law buying as possible. Just realistic as I can. Alright, here we go. Green light. My turn, folks. Alright, let's get on over here. Man, frame rate seems to be a little bit sluggish here. I don't know why. Oh. Right. Right. right, sorry about that, folks. Uh, real life, I had to answer the phone there. It's okay, let's go ahead and we're going to get in here. Man, the frame rate awful. Whoa, this Costco is a weird location there. Come on, frame rate, catch up. All right, so we're here at the Costco. 
let's go ahead and check it out here. We're going to do this one here. Plenty of room, it seems to be, in this one. Let's see if we're not close enough to the end there where I can have more room. Let's go turn our four ways here. Roll down our window. Looks like somebody's got a huge water tank there. Actually, we might have enough room to do a straight back. Well, actually, no, I don't think we do. We're going to have to probably do some form of an alley dock here. Let's not get too close to the fence. Because we'll not have enough room to get underneath the trailer. Ooh, man, this one's going to be rough. This one's going to be a roughie and a toughie, man. I am going to have to make that flipping trailer... Oh, man, this is, this is going to be a few pull-ups on this one. I am going to have to make that trailer jack. All right, let's try it. I am... So, I'm not even in the right uh, thing here, but I think if we can get behind it here, we can try... Jacket a little bit more here. Actually, hold on. We might be all right. No, I'm not supposed to really make the trailer bend this far. There we go. Looks in a little bit better. Like a little bit better there. It looks much better. There we go. Okay, I want to try and get underneath it here. You're starting to get back under it. Looks like we're gonna have to blindside a little bit of it, too. Okay, there we go. Couldn't initially blindside it anyways, because I'd have them do a U-turn. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, this is gonna be more or less a blindside here. Unfortunately, I just do not have enough room to do a regular. Regular entrance here. Oh, I guess we'll go and roll that window down too. Not seeing my trailer jacking. At least not enough. There we go. We are sorry, start getting under it. I'm looking out of my back window here is the best judgment I have of not hitting that trailer there in back of it. I hate to stop and take a look at it because I think we got an all right angle. I hate to look, stop and look. I think we'll be all right. Let's go ahead and stop and look real quick here. Well, let me stop and look. I'm just going to put the barking brake on. Check here. Side two. Yeah, we're doing it goes. Let's go continue doing what we're doing and try to get back underneath it. All right. All right. I think we can start getting under now. I think we can do it. Might get a little bit off course here now. Let's take a look here. See where we're at. Alright, we're coming a little bit more to the left now. So I'm going to have to get up, pull up a little bit. Jacket a little bit more, I think. Or not jacket. A little bit better lined up there again. All right. There we go. Get under it. There we go. There we go. Looking a little bit prettier. A little bit more prettier. here okay yeah we're back kind of where we were all right i think we're jacking a little bit too much here on the back end so let's go and pull it up back for forward a little bit here that's why i hate doing a damn backside as i just can't see crapola in it jack it a little bit here okay we're good 
come out of the back. Get under her. Get back under her. There we go. Give her a little bit, yeah, so I can start seeing where I'm at here. Don't look like I'm anywhere near this Costco trailer. Yeah, I'm nowhere, man. I'm not near the dock, but it's okay, though. Let's go ahead and get back here. Let's go ahead and get a little bit turned over to the left. So we can fix this on up here. Just glad that there's nothing here in the, uh, the other... The other spot here. Definitely something we're going to have to fin find, uh, finesse over this way. All right, let's go forward a little bit. Let's go slow here so we can get a better angle on it. Then we can technically get a little bit better angle to alley dock the rest of the way. This is like a combo deal. This is like a alley dock and a blind side all at the same time here. Now that I have more room, I can definitely... I can definitely get it in there alley style or alley dock. There we go. All right, there we go. There we go. Much better. Good thing they had nobody parked in two. I would have been screwed. A little bit more of a jack there. Start getting back under it. Oh, I have to do one to two more pull-ups just to get it straight. If we stop randomly, I know I hit the dock. There's the dock. All right. Let's pull this bad boy forward. There we go. Straight. Ish. Just pull over a little bit over to the right here. Good. Get a little bit back to the straight. All right. I think we're good here, guys. This should be money. A little bit pulled to the left. Back under it. Left. I right, should left, right, it back. Come on, back, straight back. All right, I think we are in it, folks. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this bad boy here. Put a parking brake on. Take a quick, quick, quick look here. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all there. Not bad. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got for the bad boy. Actually, I'm gonna get in here. We're gonna turn the truck off, cut the seal, and let it load it out. All right, folks, that's all she wrote with this one. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get us back out of here. So we close the doors and then head on out here and uh, get some sleep, get the characters some sleep at least, and get some gas. And that is going to be pretty much it, folks. If you want to see some more American Truck Simulator, let me know down in the comments. Give me some likes, some dislikes, and uh, make sure you're subscribed here. But until then, guys, take care of yourself, each other, and uh, game on.